Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be checking out some more of your coolest creations. Let's get into it. Alright, so I have downloaded a bunch of builds here as you can see. And the first one we're going to check out is this one here. We have the McLaren P1 GTR Track Focus by Zambralar. This is a really cool looking McLaren. And oh, I think it has a bit of zero drag going on here. But look at the detail on this thing. The way you can use decals. I oh, mean, every time I do one of these videos, I'm just so impressed by decals because they just make everything pop but let's give this a test here okay it's actually quite oh it's too fast it's hard to steer i need to go on the mainland there you go all right let's do this so it is a very fast and very maneuverable little car right now Woo! look at that <laughs> this is so cool what's our max speed 185 miles per hour it seems oh man look at that and there we go i just crashed <laughs> So yeah, it's got some zero drag elements to it, I think. A lot of dragon engines inside. A nice looking exhaust. This is only 210 blocks, guys. That's crazy. Want to see if I can weave through these barrels? Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh no, we've had a crash. Here we go. I got the perfect test for the speed here. We need to drive all the way over here. Go around this pole. Okay, my traction isn't the best on the sand. There we go. And I'm going to smash through all of these barrels. Let's do this. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> nice, dude. I went flying. Super cool. Look at that. Oh, just just looks amazing. That's an amazing build you got there, Zam. Very nice. Okay, moving on to the next one. We have the Falcon, the Millennium Falcon by Gad Dusing. It has a hyperdrive with left shift. It has a self-destruct with H. Okay, all right. Pretty standard controls. Apparently, this has a hyperdrive, and I don't really know what that means. Okay, let's spawn the Millennium Falcon in. I gotta say, it looks really good. We've got these two large jets, though, sticking out the side. And, oh my gosh, would you look at how many dragon jets are on the back of this? You know what? Instead of looking, let's actually just test it. All right, here we go. Vehicle unconfigured? Damn it. Okay, we just have to guess. So it looks like, yeah, there we go, space. Pretty cool. Very nice. We're flying. I mean... If you look at the shadow, I guess you could think that's a Millennium Falcon flying overhead. <laughs> oh, and it has a lot of weaponry too. So H is to self-destruct, right? <laughs> there you go. That's epic. Wow. Whoa, did you see the way I landed? I'm like wedged into the, the pole on this dock. That's crazy. Okay, well, I want to test out this hyperdrive, you know? It apparently has a hyperdrive and you just simply have to press shift. Okay, here we go. Snuffing, guys. Hyperdrive in three, two, one. Whoa! I just broke the sound barrier. Wait, how does that even work? What? I am so confused. Okay, let me try that again. Shift. Oh, it didn't work. Is it just like a one-time use? Did I break the game? I'm so confused. All right. Oh, dude, wow. Would you look at that thing go? Oh, I, I'm out of the map. There we go. All right, we need to use the cinematic camera for this. I'm in F5. There we go. So let's see what it looks like from a different person's perspective. And then hyperdrive. Wow, that is... Super cool. I want to do that again. You know what? Let's move to the aircraft carrier. All right. Millennium Falcon is taking off. Bunch of bad guys are chasing them. And then hit the... Oh, wait. No, not in the sun. There we go. Hit the hyperdrive. <laughs> that is epic. Wow. I have no idea. There's some kind of glitch going on inside this build to make it go that fast. Is there anything? I don't know, guys. I don't know what is happening. There's hover pads in here. You guys are going to have to let me know down below in the comments what type of glitch or speed glitch is going on to make this thing jump into hyperspace like that. That's incredible. All right, Gatuzeng. Very cool Millennium Falcon there. Very impressive that. Good job, dude. Okay, for our next build, we actually need to activate mods because I need the complexity mod. 
This build is very complex. All right, complexity mod is on. Let's spawn it in. We have the Pixel Avionics NSC28. Here, you know what? Let me just spawn it in and it will tell me at the top. Tell me at the top of the screen what this thing is called. All right, it's the NSC28 Tusakumyomi by Pixelonel. I hope I pronounced that right. But it is essentially a spaceship. But yeah, let's just go. There's so many controls. Would you look at that, guys? It can shoot in every direction too. We have space to go up. Left shift is to drop in altitude. We also have Q and E. Okay, E is the bombs. Okay, so it's infinite bombing. Nice. Oh, we got missiles too. Look at that. It's just a space battleship. That's what this is. We got H. Nice. We have a horn. Z. Oh, Z is to aim the little tiny turrets. You see that, guys? Z and X are to aim the turrets. Nice. And then obviously we have one, two, and three. Oh, one is a camera view. Oh, we have a different camera view and a bottom view, I guess, for bombing. Wow, would you look at this? It has a whole interior. But yeah, let's just go. Let's just fly this around. The uh, the, uh, the stabilizing is very loud, but you know, it's fine. As long as it works, I guess. Okay, as long as I'm going up and gaining altitude like this, the gimbal jets are not being so loud. But it, it is slow, <laughs> but I guess it's more for the looks than anything. This is just such a nice, beautiful build. Look at that. Another favorite thing of mine is seeing like decals on the neon texture. These windows here look amazing. Yeah, man. Very cool. Very nice pixel. All right. Up next, we have the F-16 two-player plane with RC missiles for Scrapman and UZ. I don't know if Scrapman's had a look at this plane yet, but I am going to have a look at it. It looks amazing. Let's spawn it in. Whoa. I really like the shape of the uh, plane here using the large jets. So they spelt nugget. That's, <laughs> that's really smart. Wow. Okay, so it's another one saying the vehicle is unconfigured. So I'm just going to have to see what happens here. We can we can start going, right? There we go. That's the shoot. Is E doing anything? Oh, E is your. We have your controls. Always nice to have your controls. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's very sensitive. All right, shift. Oh, we got afterburners too. And a whole bunch of rockets. I believe that's six rocket launchers on there. We gotta test out these rockets. Let's shoot the sign. Did I miss? Did I hit? No, that's a miss. Yeah, way over. Okay, I'm gonna shoot the cliff. Yeah. Woohoo, devastating. I wonder how do I deploy this RC missile? I think I actually do need a second player here. One is to drop those like guided rocket things. Oh, whoa. Oh, okay. Let me just respawn there, guys, because that was so nice. These little bomb, glidey bomb rockets. I don't know what you call them. They actually work. You can deploy them and they're gliding down. And there you go. One went into the sea. Oh. No, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to jump out. No. Okay, let's, let's just read really quick on how to actually do the RC uh, missile. Hang on, I can call a friend, right? I'll get a friend here. All right, guys, so I have managed to get JB Ryder to come and help me for this one. So JB, I'm going to spawn in this build. It is a two player jet made mm -hmm. by somebody called Lens X 72 or Lensy. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, guys. But uh, yeah, so there's two seats, as you can see, but it has a like a remote control like missile underneath. So if you want to hop in the front seat there and then I hop in this one, you should have the controls to fly this. So just fly it how you would normally fly a plane i think it's hold space <laughs> you should have the controls over the plane so you oh, can okay. go ahead and fly us i think it's shift there you go <laughs> yeah all right oh it's like a mig 29 Ooh. yeah it looks amazing cool. right uh, gear yes, yeah gear is going i think if you press one two you can drop the uh the rockets there you go oh, look at that oof, amazing rip. all right jb so for me to drop this rc controlled missile um i mm -hmm. need to press e and then i believe it's just standard controls you ready okay uh hold up let me line up yep, yeah ready. level out there we go okay three two one oh Oops, oops my bad <laughs> um okay so it's going i'm not sure if i'm controlling it I had no I idea if I was controlling it. that. Okay, you might need to respawn there, buddy. Okay, I'm joining you. We only need one of these builds out. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, okay. My bad. <laughs> that was skew. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll try it again. Let me get in the back seat because that is the RC seat. There you go. Okay, go ahead and take off again, JB. Oh. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> 
How does it feel? Does it feel good? It feels okay. All right, okay. Well, it just needs to level out, and then it should be good to go. So apparently, I just read it. When you press, when I deploy the bomb, it should activate the mm -hmm. camera, right? But it's not doing that. So let me test that again. Three, two, one. Yeah, oh, no. I mean, it, it drops, but I have no control over it. Oh, I guess it's broken. Damn, that would have been really cool to see. It's supposed to let me control, like, a missile, basically. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh Great job. Great job, JB. <laughs> All right, well, you might as well stick around, JB, because I have a few more builds to review. All right. Oh, actually, one more build. This one is the MQ-9 Reaper by the console PC Gamer. Here it is. So this is a drone, a UAV, as you'd like Ooh. to... It looks... Oh, wow, look at the wingspan on this. Ooh, it has four Hellfire missiles. Yes. Nice. <laughs> yeah, dude. Very, very cool. Very War Thunder right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so you go ahead and grab yourself one of these. All right, I'm going to grab one too. And let's go. Can I, fl can I take off from here? I have no... Oh, um, oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. How did it, you take off? Oh, I might stall, but it really feels like a, one of the drones in War Thunder. Has really? high lift and really slow, yeah. All right, let me try again taking off here. All right, okay, we're in the air, guys. This is cool. Up and down on the uh, arrow keys. What does that do? I don't know. I don't know what that is. We do have a camera block underneath. We have shift. Oh, there you go. There's the camera block. Wow. Take a look at that camera, dude. Got a loads of... Oh, yeah. A nice perspective over everything. So what are the missiles? Yeah, what are the missiles? I think Q, maybe? Don't press E. I just pressed E and I blew up the smithereens. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Left <laughs> The the, uh, the left on the, uh, the keyboard just launched all four missiles at once. Holy oh, smokes. okay. Left arrow. Okay, all right. Let me just test that. Ah, oh, there you go. Wow. Yes, two of them hit the mountain, two of them crashed into the sea. I felt the shift in weight though when I dropped them. <laughs> ah, I just crashed. I don't know what Q is doing. I think it's supposed oh to be God. your controls, but I mean, they've still got the bombs hooked up. So if I press E to go what? to the right, I'm going to explode. But there you go, guys. Rockets are off. They like to spread out a lot. <laughs> Are you okay, JB? What's up? You can be one of the missiles. That's weird. Wait, what? Yeah, you can be inside of one. That's so strange. Wait, can you... I know they've got camera blocks on them, but how did you... Yeah, you're in... I'm inside of mine. How did but you activate that? of course, I can't that? control it because I'm on the ground when I drop it, but... Left control? It's weird. There's no cockpit in there, so it's kind of... Huh. It's those things. Strange. I don't know. Okay. Maybe you've figured out some RC thing. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, you can spawn in one so I can hop in the, the camera view, or you can do that. Yeah, I, I think it's only one seat. Here, I actually just want to just want to bomb you really quick. Hellfire missile. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not accurate with this at all. Pull up, pull up. <laughs> okay, we're going to just try and hit these. Oh, never mind. Barrels. Not broken anymore. Oh. No, never mind. I'm I wait way too late. But it's still really cool, right? And it's still really nice. All right, let's see one of the Hellfire missiles drop on uh, in this camera mode. There you go. Oh, I lost it. We're tipping back. We're tip. Oh, I'm getting extremely dizzy. <laughs> no, pull up. Okay, we made it. Oh, I nearly crashed into the sea there, JB. Okay, well, I think the last thing I need to do is is land. Here we go. Come in for a landing, guys. Can I make this, dude? <laughs> It does not like to fly straight. Here we go. Nice and easy. There we go. The MQ-9 Reaper has returned safely. Okay. I hate this freaking pit in the danger zone aircraft carrier, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it ruins all of my landing. What do you think of that build, JB? I like it. It's pretty good. Yeah, I like it. It's pretty good. It's pretty yeah, good. it's a neat little drone. There's no way to control the missiles, though. Yeah, I just think that you're supposed to drop them. Well, guys, that was a look at some of your really cool and interesting builds on the workshop this week. Uh, very nice builds, I gotta say. And thank you, JB, for joining and helping me out, even though we couldn't get no the RC problemo. missile working, which is a shame. Maybe update the build next time and I'll check it out again. Maybe there's something wrong. I don't know. But yeah, guys, if you like this video, leave a like and why not consider subscribing? It's free, but Anyway, that's enough from me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye! -bye.